things. Temperance meat was a big campaign that people had to try to get other people to stop drinking. And it was incredibly popular in this, these farming areas up here. Because it tended to be Protestant, it tended to be rural. So, you know, you couldn't get away from it up here. And uh, basically, you can see what they're saying here. You can see this picture of them. We've got a temperate family and an intemperate family here. The temperance family here, they're all sitting around in the parlor enjoying each other's company. In this one, you know, the father's going into the liquor store and the family is begging him not to go in. Uh, one cup. Who's had two cups? Who's had three or more cups? Who's had four or more cups? <laughs> I think I have. Okay, so I'd be the most drunk here. Because essentially, what you look at today is instead of using coffee or tea as a stimulant, they were using alcohol. So roughly, if you think about how much you're drinking coffee or tea today, think about that as, as a glass of alcohol, and that's essentially what they were drinking. Mostly the men, to be fair, um, but there was an awful lot of drinking going on. And in fact, there are records of Europeans coming here and writing about it and saying that um, Ontario, Ontarians are more drunk than anywhere they've been in the, in the, United, in the United States or anywhere in Europe. There's more drinking here in Ontario than anywhere else they had seen. And in the 1830s, when there was the first temperance society started in Toronto, they actually wrote into their minutes they really, really weren't sure if this was going to work or not, and they would try it for a year and see, because, this is a quote, spirits were as indispensable as food. So they thought that alcohol, spirits is another word for alcohol, was as indispensable as food, which is not how we look at it today. Today we tend to look at it as something you do you know, as a treat.